Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Life Noding. Um, the other day, I was actually tinkering around with a uh, Magica Foxtail, um, this software right here, and kind of thinking a way to we can kind of uh, work inside Blender and then export it to like a Magica Foxtail Vox format uh, for Voxel artwork, and also from Voxel back into Blender. I kind of um, think how we can do that and apparently there is a there is a tool online tool out there um, it's called uh, voxelizer online voxelizer by drewbubu.com uh, this one is actually doing it quite well uh, it doesn't seems to uh, kind of convert the color um, but this is really cool like a really cool tool that we can use to bridge blender into uh, magica voxel so there are of course other methods to do this, but I think this is one of a really good tool uh, that we can try. So as you already know, if we actually want to do it inside Blender, um, there are already a couple of ways. You know, like if you have like a text like this and you want to voxelize it, um, Remesh modifier is actually kind of doing it. Although yeah, Remesh, doesn't give you the the actual box. It, it does look like a voxel voxel object, and you can really continue tweaking it, extrude, adding depth, and things like that. That's kind of cool in itself. It gives you kind of like a Lego uh, Minecraft Minecraft kind of look. But I want to do a little bit more. Um, I decided to to use this uh, online voxelizer. This one actually I'm using Meta Balls. And I'll give you a quick demo how we can do this. So let's first um, try convert this out first. Uh, let's change the text to blend and save as a voxel, voxelized test. And this guy, I think I need to convert it to mesh first. Convert to mesh, file, export. Let's try just a OBJ. So voxelize test obj, save it on the desktop and let's go to the, to this drewbubu.com uh, This website if you look at it, there, it also have lego lizer, it's really cool uh, You can actually simulate the lego lizer at some point, I'll, I'll show you how But for now just do something simple, just open the obj And with this obj we can just import the voxel So that's our mesh right, it's already Voxelize really really quickly and you can increase the voxel size and then you can also adjust this uh, the spacing if you like so that's kind of cool and yeah so we have something here and then the cool thing is that you can actually save it as blender uh, which is uh, which actually will give you like a python script that you can run inside blender we can try we can try this so save as Blender and also save as there are so many different formats here, Cinema 4D, JSON, very, very cool. You, you can study it and you can, for what we are doing, we can save it as uh, Fox. Fox is for Magica Fox sale, of course. And you can either have a inside float or just the outside. Uh, what I mean, uh, if we look at it in a, in a 2D, for example, you can see you can see how this uh, voxel is being generated. You can float the inside or just having it uh, just the outside. There, like, uh, there's a different there. Anyhow, it's a. Uh, let's take a look at this result inside uh, Magica voxel. If you float the inside, it will basically generate the box inside it. If that's what you want. Um, for now, just nothing, and then make it one unit so it's fully covering our text save it as save it as box and then let's uh, take a look under my download now we should have the box format and the py py is for blender one so this is our original text i'm gonna save it as another blend uh, here we're gonna just you know create a text editor create a new and then from here Let's let's drag the blender here, and then Magica Foxel here. 
we have the py for blender just drop it there it actually give you uh, some kind of a uh, python code uh, very very tidy that you can study you can see actually how each fox cells being uh, being stored as a data structure very very interesting uh, for study you can just run the script let it run for a while and then another one is vox file format you can just drop it here and here you go we get our blend blend text uh, it's a bit strange and it, we probably need to rotate it but anyhow this is our blend file and you can you can paint it out uh, what i really like about magica fox Hell is how it allows you to paint things very very easily you know like even just super random text like this it's a uh, kind of cool i think and uh, you know and then once you're done with this color uh color and you okay you're thinking okay you, you don't really like this color you can just change the palette and this palette will give you a new color and you can just you know fill it out uh very cool and then if you um want to have like a more fancier kind of render you can always go to render and then with the last color being selected you can you can enable emissions and make it low things like that i really like the renderer in the magica fox cell you you it makes you realize the um you can of course do this in blender but um these tools allow you to quickly like uh get this kind of result very very easily um change the sky color for example to dark blue um and then change the shadow change the directional and everything seems like real time and the real time ability is kind of giving you like uh something you know you, your brain kind of can understand this better and what what's actually changing so let's reduce the glow let's make this glowing and then with the blue exposure control this is a filmic tone mapping if you like make it blue more blue is actually quite cool effects i found get rid of the sky you know i actually increase the sky atmospheric and you can change the color so you can get a really cool result very quickly and go back to model let's give it more color this is like something like that and if you like you can always erase things so you see uh, because we we don't have the inside of these objects when we when we erase we really like erasing bits and pieces like that you know like a cheese even though they are like just voxel uh, voxel is uh, all very boxy it has uh, our brain actually like uh, the box look there is no no round corner or things like that you imagine if you have like a, an architect you know like a building looks like this architects the people will like it designer actually like this kind of look as well if you like if you're done with it you can render it out and then with the last object selected you can turn it into glass you know it's kind of nice give it a glow the bloom instead of glass and then turn it into emissions give it some power and then you get you have the yellow color flow now yeah i think it's really cool and now that we can we are able to do this um, using magica for sale now you can challenge yourself and then you know try to make it in blender um, currently importing exporting from magica fox cell to blender requires you maybe some third party or thing like that uh, actually you can of course export out the ply i have i haven't checked all the options uh, for export import but you can export out uh, like ply you know and then okay you can adjust the focus as well and then you go back to blender and then have a look this guy is still working see it takes a while actually if you have a lot of voxel if you want to bring in as a py um which is kind of quite interesting ideally it should be a lot faster and 
you can definitely voxelize object using spare chalk add-on as well so that's a an option for you let me try to import the PLY just now uh, where did I save it so export export as PLY and export it to okay the desktop and now let's uh, import it from the desktop voxelize test I think this guy right here so this one is coming from Magica Fox Sale. It actually have the color as well, but it doesn't. I don't think it has the emission and things like that because this is just a vertex, uh, vertex color. I don't know. It might have. If I uh, if we just uh, render it out using cycles or whatever, using Blender render, um, is it can be possible to render the vertex color like that. But the emission and the glass will be kind of uh, something you need to work it out. Um, so it's not impossible, but you can get this kind of look inside Blender and even more, of course. So that's pretty much it, you know, like like a quick look from how we can convert Vox from Blender into Magica Fox AL using this tool, uh, drewbubu.com. And this I really like this tool and uh, definitely give it a try, ex ex um, explore this tool and then try to make it something that works in blender you know like animate it or something so there you go hopefully you enjoyed this and thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time bye